Meanwhile, an Arkansas organization dedicated to reuniting lost animals with their owners is warning people about another scam that's growing in popularity. T311's Rebecca Brown shares what you need to do if you get a text from someone that claims they found your lost pet. We've seen scammers uh, contacting an, a pet owner or a pet finder immediately after we post the pet. Just imagine every time you see a post like this one from Arkansas Lost and Found Pet Network, someone on the other side pretending to take advantage of the situation. If they can send a six digit code to the person, they will uh, you know, give them the pet back. So if you think about it, they are trying to get information. They have the person's text, uh, their number, phone number, and now they're trying to get a six digit code, which is what you always need, for instance, to get into your bank account. Donna Winchell, the main administrator for Arkansas Lost and Found Pet Network says, it's a scam that's not new for their organization, but has picked up traction over the years. We've had people ask us, well, can you just block the number that it came from? But they use different numbers all the time. So we could block one, but there would be more and more all the time. Winchell says these scammers are taking a advantage of people in a vulnerable state. People who have lost their pets, they're like members of the family. They're desperate, they're they're heartbroken, and they'll grab at any straw to try to get their pet back. And so they're not thinking very rationally always, and they think if this person has their pet, they'll do anything to get it back. Which is why their organization is doing everything they can to spread the word. We don't know any other way to stop it besides just let people know to be alert for it. The purpose of Arkansas Lost and Found Pet Network is to help lost pets reunite with their owners. And Winchell says despite the scams, it's a mission they will pursue until the end. Often we know when the pet is back home and uh, we can celebrate with them. And sometimes we don't know, but uh, we try to do our best to, to reunite those pets and their owners. In Little Rock, Rebecca Brown, THV 11 News. Rebecca, thank you. Winchell also wants you to be conscious of who you're giving a lost pet to. If you find one, don't just drop it off with anyone. Be sure to contact your local shelter or animal control.